What's up, everybody? Ross McCullough here, a.k.a. Carolina Realtor Ross. Uh, checking in with you. It is Thursday of the Masters. If you've seen my videos before, you know what that means to me. I equate that with spring. Kicking off spring. Temperatures get warmer. Uh, typically, uh, you see people at the Masters in shorts and a golf shirt. Here I am today, shorts and a golf shirt. That is me. It's 85 degrees. It is absolutely fantastic. And that is why I equate it to the kicking off spring. And what do I think of when I think spring on Lake Norman? I think getting out on the water. And what we're going to cover today is a question that I get asked quite often. What can you get for around a million dollars on Lake Norman to be on the water? We're going to check into a few properties that you can purchase uh, at or again around one million dollars. So we are going to cover that today. Um, where I am now, this is not a million dollars, a little bit higher, but we can find it out there for you. The majority of them are going to be, as you will see, maybe an older home, something that needs some remodeling, maybe a smaller home uh, at the back of a cove. See, I'm not a liar. There's boats out there enjoying the lake as we speak. Oh, shit. Woo! I went for a swim. So as the jets fly overhead, uh, heading down to Charlotte Douglas International Airport. We're going to sign off and get into this, show you what you can get for a million dollars. Talk to you soon. All right, guys, the boat is gassed up and we are just about to head out onto the water. But uh, before we do, I want to talk to everyone out there. If this is your first time to my channel, please do yourself a favor, uh, hit that like button subscribe to the channel, share with your family, friends, anybody that may be moving to the Lake Norman area of Charlotte. Uh, that is what I'm here for. That's what I want to do is help you make the transition as easy and successful as possible. Uh, give me a call, shoot me an email. All of my information is right down below, uh, both here on the screen as well as in the description. Kind of love that last house. Uh, not enough water toys. But uh, there we go. As soon as we get past that no wake zone, we are off and running. And we will uh, reconvene at the first stop. Look forward to hearing from you soon. All right, guys. Going to start our tour on the north end of the lake and make our way all the way down to the southern edge. So we're going to zip up to East Monbo, technically a Statesville address. Okay, everybody, uh, we have made our way north. We are past the Lake Norman State Park. We have made our way up uh, to the Troutman Statesville area. Uh, so homes on the lake up here have a Statesville address, but you are, I mean, five minutes less than from Troutman itself. So. We're going to check out another property that uh, I have been through and recorded. Now, this property does not have a boat slip yet, but has been approved by Duke Power to do so. So, what we would need to do is essentially go through the processes of working with Duke Power, as well as a dock building company, to uh, get, get that in place, get it approved, and uh, get that taken care of. Now, with that said, this property is listed at 675. It is currently a brand new construction, two bedroom, two bath home with the ability to put on it a two car garage with say a, uh, a, a room up above, which could sleep more. Now, septic permit is for two bedrooms only. However, uh, all that really means is that you cannot advertise uh, a three bedroom house if per, per se you use that room above the garage as a third bedroom. So what what that means is getting on the water for 675 in an already built two bedroom, two bath, completely updated and modern home. So that's fantastic. Of course you see you're surrounded by um, just absolutely gorgeous property after gorgeous property. Now, by water, 
We are an eight minute full speed ride. What you see out there is the main channel. That that uh, boat is in the main channel going north south down to the Mooresville area. So um, we are approaching the home itself. The dock would be built out likely about 60 feet to get you to where you would need to be to have a boat in deep enough water. Okay, so there is the home there at the end of the cove. And again, uh, as I am going through this, I will play some video uh, of us essentially walking along that same exact shoreline and taking a peek of uh, what it looked like. But to give you an idea, I mean, you're eventually once there is a dock in place there you are just a matter of two minutes from the main channel so for 675 new construction home one level um, the tall crawl space would allow for a say a work bench room uh, some sort of a maybe a tool room to be to be built so that would be about it but this gets you, oh goodness, where are we? I think uh, we are six minutes away from Devasti Vineyards. So if you are into wine, go to a winery any day of the week. You're eight minutes away from Troutman, 15 minutes away from Statesville, 15 minutes away from Mooresville as well. Uh, about six minutes away from Lake Norman State Park if you enjoy the outdoors. So, so much that you can do, uh, it's just, a tremendous opportunity frankly so that is the home behind us since the camera that is facing the home is looking at the woods so there's our home and guys zipping back down south about eight to ten minutes to our next address which is going to be in Troutman let's check it out okay guys we are coming up on a property that uh, I believe is highly underrated it's been on the market for um, a few weeks now we are in Troutman however we are as the crow flies uh, directly across the cove from one of my favorite peninsulas on the lake which is uh, down Fern Hill Road so yes we're super close to that and Mooresville by way of the lake a little bit longer uh, to get to everything that Mooresville has to offer um, but here it is uh, we are on Butternut Road um, pretty house uh, could use a little bit of updating but uh, at this price point to have essentially your own cove private slip and immediate access to everything that Lake Norman has to offer is just fantastic um, I'm gonna get a closer look at the house this one I have not yet been in um, this is the first of those that we have visited that I have not yet been in However, uh, given the water, given the access, given where we are, uh, I absolutely love this house. And um, I think it's definitely worth something looking into. So anyway, I will dig up some more information, put that in the description below and take it from there. Talk to you soon. Head back down to Mooresville.
All right, just made the quick trip back down a little bit further south, across 150, uh, swinging by the Blue Parrot, two cans and Absin Taps, and we are back down to Mooresville. Okay, we can see it coming into focus now. The home itself, um, phenomenal water. It almost doesn't get any better. You're looking at the main channel. What we're gonna be looking at is a lot of traffic going back and forth, however, easy easy access right up here we've got two cans you've got apps and taps you've got the blue parrot uh, the problem that i saw with the home itself very strange floor plan and this is listed at 1.2 million that is completely because of its water what they're trying to do with this is justify its price based on that being in a cove this being on big open water so again, we've got a, a nice dock, but the home itself, it's been updated, but it has not been taken down to the studs. Uh, had a structural engineer brought in, likely to see how it can be reconfigured. It is just, um, it's a work in progress, but it would put you on the main water. That's the plus. Uh, but again, that's what you get on Lake Norman currently in uh, the range of say 800,000 to 1.2 million With a home already in place. That is why we're taking a look uh, in this video at what you can buy right now for right around 1 million dollars here on Lake Norman gonna make a quick trip to the east to check out our next property on the other side of the lake uh, in Mooresville as well okay guys so here is the home from the water uh, what we are looking at is uh, this home has phenomenal location the fact that it is literally around the corner to the main channel from there you can head north up to uh, all of the restaurants and entertainment district of the lake okay guys swinging around here to take a look at the property from the lake itself as i stood on the dock and showed you there is what we have behind us the home has phenomenal lake access the home itself also has a lot of work or uh, potentially a lot of work to be done to make it a primary residence um, the dock is okay uh, of course because there's a dock located here what we would do is communicate with um, Duke Power, uh, try and have uh, a dock company come out, take a look at it, update the dock. Now, as far as updating the home, we'd need uh, someone with some creativity to likely either buy the house to do themselves with the idea, or what we would do is get in touch with the GC, try and come up with an idea and something that uh, they can put put to uh, put to reality but at this price point um, right now at 975 with deep water quick access to the main channel uh, the property itself if this was just being sold as a lot would be likely in the uh, 500 to 600 thousand dollar price range if not higher they may be trying to reach higher so the majority of the value is in its waterfront itself um, they do have from their driveway down into the water um, a grandfathered in boat ramp so you can put your own boat in the water this could be utilized as a vrbo or a primary residence so a lot that could be done with this property we will slowly cruise our way back out away from the property itself and get a decent look at it here and make our way out to the main channel which as I mentioned, it's literally one minute. I'm cruising at uh, one click above neutral, probably about 
four miles an hour and I will be out of a no wake zone and able to make my way north or south. guys we are now going to make our longest trip of the tour and head down past the Brawley Peninsula all the way around over to Cornelius to check out our next property okay we are entering one of the tightest inlets on Lake Norman we are in Cornelius at the end of this inlet the absolute last home we have a property for sale currently for I believe uh, just over one million dollars one million twenty five thousand we're gonna go take a look at that um, what I want you to see here is um, something that would not be allowed anymore this was grandfathered in this little area of Cornelius um, to have this many docks this close together homes this close together just aren't allowed anymore. You need 100 feet of shore space to put a dock on, and that is not this. We are very, very tight together, um, as everything is showing you on the uh, camera on my other angle. So, we see that home right there is what's on the market currently at just over one million dollars now that price point is in my opinion a reach I have not been in the home yet uh, I have seen pictures and it does look beautiful however you're at the end of what already is the tightest cove on Lake Norman so should the water happen to go down at all which automatically happens in the winter months so when we're talking about December January February March the water levels will go down that is controlled by Duke power and that will um, essentially make the very end of this extremely shallow so I kind of feel like I'm in a Florida Canal right here if you know what I mean there we have it that is the cove of Bahia Bay we will get the heck out of here head on over to the next property guys we are making our way now around the peninsula club down to the southern edge of cornelius and uh, as we do so i hope you noticed in that last transition we are trying to figure out which celebrity calls lake norman home in that absolutely incredible uh, property uh, leave your answers in the comments first ones that answer correctly i will get in touch with and get you a 25 dollar dunkin donuts gift card uh, but getting into our final property, it is an interesting one. There are two homes for sale currently connected by a deck. Now, what the sellers are going to do, uh, if requested, obviously, if the properties are sold separately, then he will take down that deck and adhere to the ordinances uh, by the city. So that's an interesting one, but let's get into it. All right. Coming into view right now, we have our next property. So this property here 
is is interesting. I can't quite put my finger on it. I haven't put the um, the question out there to the listing agent, but we are looking at it right there. It looks like kind of two dwellings that are combined. There is a deck that connects the two. However, it's being sold as two different homes. Each one is just under a million dollars. So what you see there is a home with the dock, with the boat. You see another home right next to it that looks exactly like it. Of course, it's single story versus two story. It has beach access. So obviously what's unique about that is, you know, if you see it as one property, it's gonna be just under two million, but essentially you have two homes, one with its own private beach um, or both with a private beach as well as a dock. We're in here in a small cove, but on the main channel across directly from Cornelius. So what we have just to our north is the southern entrance to Cornelius. And where that is, is along Catawba Road, which contains all of, let's say, Condo Row, as far as Cornelius is concerned, as well as the Port City Club. So we're relatively sheltered from the main channel here, uh, but we kind of get the best of what Cornelius and the main channel thereafter has to offer. Now, again, we are basically, and you'll see here on the map when I post that, we are on the southern edge of the lake or very, very close to it. So uh, Highway 73 from Road is going to be about three minutes from this home. Cornelius, Catawba Ave, about three minutes. Up to Cornelius is going to be about five minutes for shopping, dining. But you are seven minutes from Burkdale Village. You are so close to Interstate 77 here. This location from access to Charlotte is fantastic. Yeah, it, I mean, if, if you're going to live in Cornelius and be close to to Charlotte, if that's important to you to get down to Charlotte for work, access to the interstate, access to very expedient shopping, dining, we're here. This is it. And this is what 1 million or right around can get you on Lake Norman at this point. So that's it. Hey guys, so as you can see, I am back in the office off of the water. Um, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it. I love getting out on the lake. Uh, any opportunity I can get to do so, uh, absolutely love it. But to be able to showcase Lake Norman to everyone out there in the world, um, you know, where we work, live, play, eat, sleep, um, absolutely love it. And to see what $1 million or in that range of, uh, you know, as we looked at today, 675 up to 1.2. Um, it is so interesting to see what's out there. Obviously, what you notice is the farther out you get, uh, mainly to the west in Cheryl's Ford or to the north towards Long Island, Troutman, Statesville, that is where you're going to get more bang for your buck and still be on the water. So um, cool to see. Uh, again, drop in the comments down below your answers to uh, who lives in that house uh, over there on the lake in Cornelius. Let me give you a little hint. Uh, we're talking NASCAR. So uh, anyway, uh, guys, if this is your first time in my channel, as I mention every single time, or if you're a repeat visitor, please make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. I want you to be alerted anytime I'm putting out a new video. Also make sure you're hitting that like button and share it with your family, friends, friends of friends, anybody that uh, you ever hear talking about uh, moving to the Lake Norman area or the Charlotte area. I would love nothing but to connect with anyone looking to make the move and help make that transition as smooth as possible. Again, as I say, if you're looking to make the move in the next week, month, year, or decade, reach out to me. Uh, we can set up a game plan and uh, get some properties coming to you on a monthly basis. That way you're not inundated with emails if you're looking in the long term. Uh, but 
keeping their finger on the pulse of the market and see what uh, properties look like. So until the next video, uh, look forward to hearing from you. Reach out to me by phone, text, email, however you wanna get in touch with me, do so. I look forward to hearing from everyone uh, about this video. See my other videos, check them out. And uh, of course, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.